Hi, my name is Vaughny. I'm a Twitch streamer, and some members of my community have been actually wondering how I do my rave scene. And be like, hey, you should do a tutorial for that. So here I am. I'm gonna do a brief tutorial on how I do my rave scene. Um, I'm gonna assume you have basic knowledge of OBS and Stream Deck, but this can be translated into, you know, Streamlabs or other broadcasting software. Also, you don't necessarily have to have a Stream Deck. You can have a numpad, which, you know, um, triggers certain key bindings, etc. Um, it can be translated across. But for this tutorial, I am going to assume you have basic knowledge of OBS. I'm not gonna go too much into adding scenes. I'll just briefly go over them. And if it's something you guys want me to go more in depth with then maybe i'll throw a tutorial uh, about that so we'll do that also just before i get into this i just want to let you guys know this is just one way of doing this there's probably tons of other ways easier ways but this is just the method i use and hopefully uh some of you guys can take something away from it and you know come up with some pretty cool fucking ideas so let's just um let's go straight into it so Basically, I'm going to show you guys in studio mode. Um, so this just gives me the ability to, you know, record my screen and show you guys as well without fucking with other programs and stuff like that. You guys want to be focusing on the left hand side here, the preview box. And I'm also going to have my stream deck here to show you what I actually use and trigger within the stream deck. Again, this can be translated over to a numpad. What I've done here is I've stripped down my scenes. Normally I have a load more scenes than this, but for the sake of this tutorial, I've stripped them down to these um, because this is everything I use for my rave scene. So we've got a main screen here, which I'm literally just showing you guys. Uh, I got my screen, which I'm showing the screen. And then there's the rave scene. What I wanna focus on first is my cam source scene. So basically this is the scene I add into other scenes um as my main camera source now what that allows me to do is is to add one source within a scene which then i can take that scene into other scenes and edit that separately i know that's hard to get your head around but it, it makes managing uh sources a lot easier in my opinion because you only have one source and basically i'll be doing another tutorial on how i do my green screen as well because um i don't have the best lighting in here so i do a little hack and what the uh source within a scene and then importing that scene into another scene allows you to do is to have more control over your green screen but that's another tutorial so basically what i have here is my sony a5100 uh, which is the main camera i use within a scene on its this is just literally all i have i what, how i applied that was literally as you guys probably know uh add video capture device and then that's in there then i fiddle with the green screen which is a whole other tutorial i'll get into so once i've added that within that then basically i can add that uh, cam one source as a scene into other scenes so for example in my main scene here add and now you add a scene rather than a source so you go to add scene and add your cam one source scene within this scene what that allows you to do is to change your camera in one scene which will then affect every other scene if you know what i mean because then you don't have to go through every single scene and add another source you literally add it here and then it edits every single source so it's all in one place now this is initially weird and hard to set up but once you've got it you can literally change this camera anytime you wanted and it affects every single one of these without having to go through one by one adding a source then editing that source so now we have our camera source scene set up let me go into the rave scene and just show you um the layers that i have within that rave scene to be able to do what i do so here we go in the rave scene this is literally every single thing turned on so if I get my stream deck here, you can see this is how I have, have it set up. So I have a separate rave folder, which I'll literally go into and then I will, you know, press the rave button here. I'm not going to press that now, but I've got that set up. I'm going to assume you have basic knowledge of the stream deck and I'm just going to literally show you what I have set up within here. So this is just literally an OBS studio scene, which I changed to. I'm not going to press it because I don't want to obviously go into that but whenever i want to do the rave i'll press this button here then all that's left for me to do is is to trigger everything 
on and off like this i'm literally going through and just touching every single button this is my delay effect this cool trippy effect here i'm going to do a completely different tutorial for this but for now that is one of my effects that i have i got my left as you can see it's triggering there i got my right and i got my mid how i've got these set up is they are just scenes within a scene because i like different colors as you can see i've set up a kind of a bluey here and a, a purple guy here and black and white here because i think it just looks cool so how have i done that so basically if you can see down here you can see if i flick between the scenes i've got left i've got right and i've got black and white which is the middle one so all i've done is is added again we're going back to the scene within a scene where i add scene and we've got that camera source like we made earlier boom then what it is is just this camera source then what i've done is is actually added effects to the scene itself so instead of going here and adding effects to the source i don't want to do that i want to leave that source clean i want to go to cam left uh, actual scene go to filters and then i've added some color correction here so i've basically just taken the so the way you do that again uh, add right click add color correction and then all i've done is change the uh hue shift and changed it to be this blue color boom then that is my cam left sorted i've added the effect i haven't affected my original source beautiful go down to cam right now do exactly the same thing add a scene which is your cam one source again right click here which is actually in the scenes filters and put the effect on the scene itself rather than the source and again same with black and white again i'm not going to go through it add right click filters boom color and there we go we have these three now leave them in the middle as they are set up left right black and white let's go back to the rave real quick so how did i add this left right black and white to this rave scene itself all they are is scenes within a scene so you remember these scenes we just created black and white uh left and right within the rave scene all we're doing is adding those scenes that we just created black and white left and right then once you've added them all it is is about resizing them i left black and white as it were uh in the middle uh the right one for example i have literally scaled up a little bit and added it to the uh right of the screen uh the same with the left all i've done if i'm like that is scaled it up add it to the left and uh i think i even mirrored it as well so i even right clicked transform and then just flipped horizontal just to uh give it it just looks more uniform it's a bit weird like that but if you just flip it horizontal that's cool then all that's left for me to do is trigger these within stream deck itself now let's move on to the effects in the background like this all they are are looped videos so for example i'll just show you one i've got graphics one through five here and all they are if i was to go into them so you go add media source and then they're just videos basically so when you add a media source let me just double click again i'm assuming you have basic knowledge they're just it's just an mp4 video make sure you've got this on loop um so the video literally doesn't stop and uh, doesn't come on again and also uh, make sure you uncheck restart playback when source becomes active because you don't want to go into the source and then all your videos have kind of restarted to the start i like it just playing constantly and being able to trigger them when i can i just think it makes for a smoother experience basically and that's all they are they are just looped videos guys that i trigger on and off again I'm not going to go too, into too much detail how you add like source triggers within a uh, stream deck, but they're just triggered by turning these layers on and off like so. Boom. So that's one. That's graphics two, three, four. I've also got another effect which I can turn on called scroll, which basically scrolls my live uh, camera feed. I'm going to do a separate tutorial for this one as well because it's a bit in depth. I don't want to, you know, make this too long. Uh, so a scroll tutorial will be coming and a delay effect tutorial will be coming as well.
and that's pretty much it uh i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions want to just chat hit me up uh my twitter my discord and my twitch links are all down below if you like what you saw as well subscribe to the channel and also come uh watch me over at twitch sometime here's the uh, awesome content you're missing out on and as, so as soon as you see him as soon as you see him fucking you go Sat. Thank you very much, guys. I've been Vaughny. Until next time, peace!